our group got into climate modeling uh, in the early 1990s, and it began as an effort to uh, convert a widely used ocean model to work on massively parallel computers. In doing this, it quickly became clear that uh, at least one critical aspect of the physical formulation of the model needed to be revised. Uh, soon after that, someone on the team had an idea as to how to um, how to do a sea ice model, a model of sea ice floating on the ocean a little bit uh, a little bit differently and um, and that also proved to be quite successful. The, uh, the dynamical core, we would say, of that model is the most widely used one in the world now. When I came here as a postdoc in uh, 1995, I worked on um, the um, first simulation that we did here at approximately one-tenth of a degree resolution. Um, so this means um, something on the order of 10, 11 kilometer resolution. We could only afford to do this on a regional scale back then, so we did it for the North Atlantic rather than for the whole globe. In that simulation, we found that the, um, the grossest bias in the model which was in the representation of the path of the Gulf Stream, was um, substantially corrected. It was far better at this resolution. Um, and um, I think ever since then, people um, have known that this is kind of a, this is kind of the transition point in grid refinement where you correct a few major features such as the Gulf Stream, um, also, uh, also the, uh, the oceanography of the Gullis region, uh, the Kuroshio region off of Japan um, as well. Um, it is still a regime where we're quite sensitive to how the model is configured. Um, so even though things are better resolved, um, they're not a uh, hundred percent resolved in a, in a numerical sense. This is still the regime in which uh, this kind of new era of uh, climate modeling is being done. For more than a decade now, we've been specializing in very high resolution ocean simulations where some of the turbulent features in the ocean are explicitly resolved and can feed back on the large scale circulation. Only very recently has computing power gotten to the point where we can uh, do century long runs in a coupled climate system with this kind of an ocean model.